The Washington State Department of Transportation on notice tonight after the city of Spokane said they need to clear the homeless encampment by Interstate 90 and Freya. The city is giving WSDOT until October 14th to clear out the camp. Crime News' Nathan Han joins us now live at the camp to give us more details tonight. And what can you tell us this evening, Nathan? Well, Cody, over the last year, this homeless camp by I-90 and Freya has been growing. There are now over 600 people that live here. And with the city's proposal to the Washington State Department of Transportation to clear the camp, people that work closely with and to the camp have differing opinions. The city of Spokane sent out a letter Thursday giving the Washington State Department of Transportation until this Monday to outline their plan for clearing out the homeless camp near I-90. The city says once a plan submitted, it expects the state to start clearing out the camp by September 23rd and be finished by October 14th. Several business owners near the camp couldn't be more excited to hear about the news. I am ecstatic. It is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be a celebration. I think all of us will help clean up the area once the homeless have uh, relocated. But for nonprofits like Empire Health Foundation, who works with the camp's occupants, they're frustrated the city's trying to clear out the encampment so fast. I don't think it helps in the work that we're trying to do. I think it's frustrating that the city uh, seems to be um, aggressively pursuing uh, this idea that we could just get rid of the camp in a short period of time. And as I was just saying, that's not really possible. Another nonprofit, Compassionate Addiction Treatment, says the city's plan isn't going to change anything they're doing. My initial reaction was stunned. I was stunned into silence. My reaction now and our reaction as a team is uh, we're here to do the work and we're not going to be distracted by city politics. The city says it plans to take legal action if they don't get a response by Monday. If that's the case, they'll deem the state's property a chronic nuisance and issue a citation. We've seen a very big uptick in crime and things like that in the area. And we just kind of hope that maybe if they get some help, that that'll resolve itself. The place that they're living in right now isn't a place where anybody should live. So I'm just really glad the city's stepping up and um, really trying to help those guys. The city says it spent more than $350,000 addressing nuisance issues at the camp since last March. The letter says the city plans to seek reimbursement from the state if they can't come to an agreement. So in the meantime, the city does give homeless people different housing options, but a lot of the people here, even at this camp, don't want to leave their tent and vehicles. And at last check, the new Trent Avenue shelter had about two dozen people show up, and they hope more people do show up there. And we do know that WashDOT did receive the city's letter and plans to respond at a later time. Live in Spokane, Nathan Hyun, Krem2 News.